So you'll be comparing the output that you want with the output that you got. You wanted a one, it gave you a zero. Okay, which weight are we gonna change? In what order? Turns out that optimizing those weights, you know, before we die of boredom, is actually a challenge, and doing this by hand is just not going to work. So we're stuck unless we have an optimization algorithm that can do it quickly. And that is what the backpropagation algorithm is all about. For your purpose, backpropagation is the reason that you get solutions here, you know, in this lifetime, rather than in the uh, old age of the universe. You don't need to know much about it as practitioners because it's already implemented in those packages for you. You don't need to go reinvent the wheel. So even though it is part of day one of every neural networks course ever, if you're finding it tedious, you can just ignore that because it's already implemented. Just think of it as the reason that you don't have to wait forever for the results. I remember a, a fun moment where uh, my friend who has a PhD in machine learning, who is a researcher, was saying, oh yeah, I have to go teach backpropagation tomorrow, so I can't go drinking because I have to go relearn it. <laughs> Turns out you could be a career machine learning researcher and have entirely forgotten it, but somehow it's part of the hazing every time. So if you take a course and you're like, I'm not getting it and it seems annoying, do I have to fail out of the course or can I just ignore this one and hope it goes away? If you're going for how to be an applied person, you can probably get away without worrying about it too much. And Let's see what's happening. We take an instance and we send it through the network just as we sent those numbers through earlier to get a label out on the other side and we call that forward propagation. And then when we look at the label, we compare it with what the true answer was and we see a mismatch. And of course, our first response is, whom do we blame? Well, to figure out where we should start making adjustments, we essentially propagate the effects, echo, influence of that error back through the network to find where and how much we should make the adjustments. That's what that backpropagation algorithm is doing for you. And if you do end up looking into it and you really want to know what it is mathematically, remember calculus? Remember the chain rule? Do you like the chain rule? I hope you do. After this, you'll like it out of Stockholm Syndrome. Backpropagation is just the chain rule a lot. And then the adjustment is made. And now you take your next instance, forward propagate it through, get the label, get the mismatch, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like sewing with a needle. And as those weights adjust, the solution becomes more and more of a good, sensible recipe for you. That's the simplest implementation, now there are more interesting ones where you can train on many instances at once. <laughs>